In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Today, January 22nd, 45 years ago, was the saddest day in the history of the United States of America. The reason being is that the Supreme Court, through the decision Roe v. Wade, legalized abortion, which is the killing of innocent children. Given that we're calling to mind this very, very tragic event, let us try to do all we possibly can to repair for what has happened and to prevent future abortions. There have been calculated close to 60, 60 million abortions in the past 45 years. About 4,000 every day in the United States of America. As well as in the city of Los Angeles, Southern California, about 180 on a daily basis. If you have 10 women that are pregnant, it's about 3 of them that will opt to have the abortion. And if you look at your watch, every 20 seconds, an abortion is carried out. So that means about three abortions every minute. This is the most serious moral problem in the world and in the United States of America. We have to do all we possibly can to move in the direction of life. Our founding fathers, George Washington, Adams, when the American Constitution was composed in the 1700s, these are the words of our founding fathers, which we should appreciate, meditate upon, and try to live out. Every human being is endowed with rights, with rights that cannot be violated. These rights are that of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. First right of every human person is the right to life. And life comes from God, the author of all life. And life happens at the very moment of conception. And in that moment of conception, God, the author of all life, infuses an immortal soul into that new person. So let's pray, pray to Mary. <clears throat> and let's pray to the child Jesus, El Santo Nino, that we will be people of life. We will defend life from the moment of conception until natural death. Amen.